Sometimes we are given problems about arrangements which have some special conditions or constraints. For example, how many five digit numbers can we make from the digits 1 to 9 if digits cannot be repeated? Part 2, digits cannot be repeated, the number must start with an even number and be divisible by 5. Let's start with part 1. So we have the digits 1 to 9 and obviously there are 9 of those digits. We want to make five digit permutations or arrangements. There are five slots to fill. The only restriction we have is that digits cannot be repeated. So for the first slot, we can choose any of the nine digits. So we have nine choices. For the second slot, well, we can't repeat. So whichever one we've used before, we can't use it again. So we've only got eight choices at this stage and then seven and six left and then five. So remember in the fundamental principle of counting we have nine by eight by seven by six by five possible arrangements. And if we work that out on our calculator we get a total of 15,120 different arrangements or permutations. Part two is a bit more complicated. Again digits cannot be repeated but this time the number must start with an even number and be divisible by 5. So let's start by showing our 5 slots. These represent each of the choices we have to make. So let's look at the restrictions. Can't repeat the digits. Must start with an even number and be divisible by 5. Let's start with the idea that they must be divisible by 5 because that's quite a big restriction. If a number is divisible by 5, it must end in the digit 0 or 5. So in this case we're choosing from the digits 1 to 9. So the only digit that's really going to work there is the digit 5. So in the final slot we've really only got one choice. Also the number must start with an even number. So how many of our digits are even? Well 2, 4, 6 and 8. So that's four digits, so we have four choices here in the first slot. After that, the only restriction is that digits cannot be repeated. So we had nine digits to start with. We've used up two, so we've got seven digits to choose from. And then for this choice, for this slot, we've only got six to choose from and five to choose from. And again, multiply these to find out the total number of arrangements. So four by seven by six by five by one so if we do that in our calculator, it turns out to be 840 different arrangements. So because we've got all these restrictions, we end up with a lot fewer permutations. Let's look at another example. How many five digit numbers can we make of the digits 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, using each only once? And then we're given five different scenarios, five different sets of conditions. So let's look at the first one where there are no other restrictions. So we're making a five digit number, so there are five slots to fill, five choices to make. The only condition is that we can't reuse any of the numbers. So we have five choices for the first one, only four for the second, three, two, and one. And we multiply them. And that's equal to 120. So there are 120 different permutations for this scenario. Remember that 5 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1 is also known as 5 factorial. And you can put that straight into your calculator and you'll get 120. In the second scenario, the number must be odd. Again, we have 5 slots to fill. We're choosing from the numbers 2, 3, 5, 7 and 8. And the number must be odd. For a number to be odd, it means that the final digit in the number must be an odd digit. We have three odd digits to choose from here, so we have three choices here. And Why do we start with this one? Well, this is the most restrictive slot, so we always start with the one that's most restrictive, the one that's kind of fussy. Having dealt with that, we can now go back and make our choices for the other slots. So for the first slot, well, we've used up one of these digits, so we have four remaining. We have three remaining, two and one. And now we multiply them. So four by three by two by one by three. 
is 72. So there's 72 different arrangements or permutations which are odd numbers. Now let's try the third one where the number must be even. Again, five slots. This time the number must be even, so that means that the final digit must be an even digit. So we'll deal with that first. We're choosing from 2, 3, 5, 7 and 8. We've only got two even digits there, 2 and 8. So we have two choices here. After that, we can go back and fill in the other slots. So we have four choices, 3, 2 and 1. Again, we multiply as usual. So we have 4 by 3 by 2 by 1 by 2, which is 48. So there are 48 arrangements that are even. Slightly different than the previous one. Now looking at part 4, where the number must be greater than 30,000. We're choosing from 2, 3, 5, 7 and 8. Again, we have five slots. For a number to be greater than 30,000, it mostly depends on the first digit. For example, if we choose a two here, there's no way that this number can be greater than 30,000. If we put a five or a seven or an eight there, it'll certainly be greater than 30,000. If we put a three there, it will be greater than 30,000, as long as we don't have zeros in here. And we won't have zeros here. So, as long as it's a 3, a 5, a 7, or an 8, then the number is going to be greater than 30,000. So we have four choices here. For the next choice, well, we've already used one of these, so we only have four choices remaining, so again it's four, and then 3, 2, and 1. And we multiply them, which turns out to be 96 permutations. Let's look again at part 5. So the number must be less than 50,000. Okay. Less than 50,000. And we're choosing from 2, 3, 5, 7, and 8. Again, we have five choices to make. For a number to be less than 50,000, it depends on the first digit. In this case, a 2 would work there, or a 3. A 7 or 8 are not going to work. The 5 is not going to work either. So we only have two choices. For the second choice, we've used one number, so we have four choices left. 3, 2, and 1. So, multiplying. 2 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1, that's 48. 48 permutations or arrangements we call them. So that was a look at some arrangements that had restrictions. Thanks for watching. Talk to you in the next lesson.